PSV3, number one recommendation. All-in-one SEO, number two recommendation. And number three, Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Nick Ponte. So this is the next video in our SEO series and it's all about the plugins that we use for our websites that allow you to get higher Google rankings quickly. So these are all the plugins that I use for my site. As you know, my agency is ranking for a lot of competitive terms, Maui SEO, Hawaii SEO, Hawaii and Maui website design, all the marketing terms that everybody's going after, we're ranking at the top of Google. We also have a huge amount of customers that are ranking at the top of Google, and these are all the tools that we use to get those customers up there and that you can use for your agency or your business as well. So if you like that type of information, please click the like and the subscribe button below this video. And also, let me know in the comments if this is the type of content that you like. If you're into SEO, you're into ranking websites, making money through client information, or client ranking, or affiliate marketing, let me know in the, or in the comments below so that I will continue to create this type of content. I wanna keep this SEO series going, and I'm gonna do it if I get a lot of comments and information from you guys saying that I should keep doing it, but if I don't really hear from anybody, then that means you're probably not into the content, so I'm not gonna waste my time and keep going into it. So again, if you want that type of information, you wanna know what I'm doing, please leave a comment below this video and let me know. So with that, the other thing that I wanna mention is if you want some information, some more information about how to do SEO and actually outsource the SEO, check the link in the description below this video. I give you one of my blueprints so that you can get this done on your own easily. So now let's get into the video. Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna give you the three tools that I use. I have used all three of these tools right now. The main one that I use is called Project Supremacy V3, version three, that's the one you're looking at. But I didn't start there, and I scaled into this tool. And I'm gonna show you some things in this video on why I like these tools. There's three of them. And what I have done to gradually grow into these tools and how you can use them as well. But just so you know, this is not an exhaustive course on SEO tools. There are so many out there. But just know that you, know, you can have confidence in the fact that I'm using these tools, I've used these tools a lot, I know they work, and I know they can work for you. So when you're just getting started with SEO, that's always the big question is like, when you get this information from somebody, you, you wanna know if it's actually gonna work, right? There are a lot of people that like talk about SEO and say they're good at it and this, that, and the other thing, but are they actually ranking? Are they actually testing and seeing what works? Well, I am, so I'm able to actually give you the information that's working for me, and I hope that you can take that and put it into a repeatable process for your business and for your client sites, and that way you can, you know, charge higher fees, make more money, and count on rankings for yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you're just getting started doing SEO, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of, or, or a big lack of confidence and abilities until you actually rank a site. So that's what I wanna do with this series is help give you confidence to rank a site, many sites. If you already have some sites, maybe share some golden nuggets on some things that have helped me take my rankings to the next level. So with that, I want to talk a little bit about Project Supremacy version three. Uh, this is an incredible tool. I love this tool because it does so much. It does so much. And I'm gonna put a link to this tool below the video. You can, you can check it out, you can pick it up. It, it's, it's pretty incredible. You can go to the site, you can check out all this information. But what I like about it, you can integrate many websites to this tool and then you can manage them from the actual back end of the tool. And just to give you an example of the back end of the tool, this is what it actually looks like. So you have a dashboard, and you can see here you have the websites on the left-hand side, you have backups, you have a rank tracker, so you can track your actual keyword rankings. That's huge. Uh, I used to use several tools to do all of the things that Product Supremacy version three does. And I used to pay all a cart for those services, right? Like rank tracking, uh, website backup, um, schema. Like I had a, a, a premium schema plugin that I used to pay for. So all these things built into one make Project Supremacy extremely effective, affordable, and a powerful tool, and it saves you a tremendous amount of time because it's all in one place. It is a royal pain in the butt to go in between all these tools 
and try to figure out which site is doing what. So that is a big piece of what makes product supremacy so effective is it's all in one place. And I really, really like the fact that you can track your backlinks and see what metrics are working uh, or what metrics are for each backlink and the sites for the backlinks that are being sent to your site. Uh, the way that you can back up your sites is incredibly powerful. You know, I used to use Manage WP to do this and it was a royal headache. And this is something that can you can use, but you can also give to your virtual assistants. You can also give to people on your team to go in and check on all your sites. That way you don't have to. A lot of the other information and, and added tools that you can use from Product Supremacy version three is the schema. So schema, for those of you that don't know, is some markup language that you add to your site that allows Google to see your site in a way that, want, that allows it to rank. So if you're a local business, there are some things, some tags that you need to add to your site to let Google know that you're a local business and that you're a window cleaning company and your address and your phone number and the longitude and latitude of your company. And it's just all of this metadata that you can add to your site that will help Google to see your site in a better light and let them rank you because they have more information. And if you're not taking advantage of schema, then you're missing out. And the thing about schema is it's, it's, it's code, it's online and you can find the information on what schema to add. But what Project Supremacy does is it allows you to build the schema and you're looking at that here. There's a schema editor. I've never really seen this before offered any, anywhere else. Um, you can use the schema editor to add all of the data, take advantage of everything you possibly can, add it to your site, add it to your client's site, and that's the way to go. So again, this is, this is not something that I've ever seen offered anywhere else. The other tools that I'm gonna tell you about, they don't, they don't do this. But another thing that I want to mention for everybody that's watching this, that's just getting into SEO, is that these tools are really powerful. They can help you a lot. But I want you to know that they are not the end all be all. Like if your tools have all of the data that you, you can possibly fill out, that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed going to be in the number one place in the eyes of Google. But these tools can be added to your site and help get you there. Sometimes they'll get you to the number one place depending on how competitive your industry is and what those competitors have going on on their sites or under the hood of their actual marketing for their websites. The whole idea with SEO is you wanna be, in order to outrank somebody, you have to understand what they're doing and then do it a little better. And with a tool like PSV3, you have the ability to do what they're doing and better, but in a shorter amount of time. So I encourage you to check the link below this video. Check out Project Supremacy version three. There is a ton of information. I could spend a week going through all the features, the on-page optimization features that are incredibly powerful and awesome as well. They have all of the training that you would need to get this set up. So. I don't need to kind of reiterate that stuff. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself, but just know that I'm using this and I love it. The next tool that I wanna to talk to you about is called All-in-One SEO. Now, All-in-One SEO is the second tier of SEO plugins that I've used, that I like to use. I'm, and I'm working backwards, right? PSV3, number one recommendation. All-in-One SEO, number two recommendation. And number three is Yoast. So, and I'll, I'll get to Yoast in a minute. But what I like about All-in-One SEO is that it just has a little more features than Yoast, right? You can, and, and I'm showing you the plugin page right here, you can submit your sitemap and very easily add uh, the description and metadata to the pages of your websites and it's, it's free. That's a great piece of it, right? It's totally free. So what I wanna show you too is um, I have a website here that I, I've been working on ranking. It's another marketing company here on Island and uh, I wanna show you the back end of All-in-One SEO and how easy it is to navigate. So when you log in, you head over to the all-in-one SEO section on the left-hand side of the website, and you can see that you have all these tabs, right? They have a pro version, which unlocks more features. I don't really even unlock the pro version, not necessary, but you can submit a sitemap, really easy to Google. If you don't know what a sitemap is yet, I recommend you check that out. I'm also going to put a link below this video to more in-depth SEO training. So you're gonna see a few links below this video because we're talking about a pretty broad topic, right? I wanna give you uh, access to SEO training 
if you want it, I'm gonna put it below this video. I'm also gonna give you access to outsourcing training below this video so you can outsource the work. You don't have to do the SEO work yourself, but in order to properly outsource, you need to know some things. So you're gonna want both of those things, okay? So check out those links below this video. If you don't know what a sitemap is, all that information is there. So all in one SEO, you can easily submit a sitemap and the general settings tab makes it very easy to select a bunch of the settings that are beneficial for your SEO, the overall health, the overall SEO health of your site. I like that you can add the title tag, the description tag to the entire site, and each page you have that option to add those as well. So it's, again, it's, you know, it's a super helpful, powerful tool. Just because you have all this information set and selected doesn't mean that you're guaranteed gonna rank at the top of Google, but you are going to set yourself up to be more successful. So. If you have no SEO plugins at all on your site, I suggest that you start with PSV3 if you want. Uh, if you're, you're more on a budget, you can work your way down. The last tool that I'm gonna go over is Yoast. It is the most basic one in my opinion. Uh, I use it um, for my site. The reason I use it for my site, my agency site, is because that's what I used in the very beginning. And because in the very beginning, I ranked to the top of Google for all the terms that I wanted. I haven't changed out that plugin because why change something that is working, right? That doesn't mean that, you know, it's a bad plugin or obviously it's not a bad plugin because I'm ranking number one, but I have a lot of other things going on to help attribute to that ranking. But it doesn't mean like there are better plugins out there. I just, you know, recommended that PSV3 is one of those plugins. All-in-One SEO is also one of those plugins. But the thing is, is because I'm already ranking, I don't want to change anything to Google, right? They already think I'm the best. So I don't want to change something that's already working. And so I'm going to log into the back end of my site. All of you are probably pretty familiar with my agency, Nick Ponte Marketing. If you Google us, you'll find us at number one for Maui SEO, terms like that. When you add the Yoast plugin to your website, I'm going to add a link to the Yoast webpage as well so you can download it. You have this SEO tab on the left-hand side. And you have, again, all this information of SEO and settings that you can use to increase the exposure of your website. Now, one cool thing about Yoast is it makes recommendations on things that you should do to increase the visibility of your website. So if you look at my website right now, right, it says that there's no serious SEO problems. Great. But when you install the plugin initially, it'll say, hey, you have some issues here. You need to fix those issues. And... Um, by fixing those issues, you get better exposure. And the thing about Yoast is it tells you how to fix the issues too, which makes it for, makes for an easy, easy way to learn SEO, easy way to implement SEO if you have no experience at all. Now, just because, again, just because, and I'm gonna show you this, what I mean by this. So when you stall, install a plugin like Yoast to your site, what it does is it adds these guides. And I'm gonna show you some of the guides. So if you go to the page, you go to any page, right? Uh, let's just go to real estate web design. You can see on the right hand side, there were some green, some little green lights. See, I have all my content here on the page, right? This page is all about real estate web design. So we have all of our on page content. We got some links, we got some headers, we got some images. Of course, they have the alternative text added to it. But at the bottom of the page, you'll see the Yoast SEO section. And it will give you some smiley faces or some sad faces based upon how good it thinks your site is doing. Now, see here, it has a, a medium smiley face. SEO analysis, my focus keyword that I'm telling Yoast, I'm trying to tell Yoast that I'm trying to rank for real estate web design for this page, right? So based on that term that I've inputted to Yoast, it says that, the SEO analysis of this page is medium because there are these things, all these things in the green that I'm doing great and all these things in the orange or red that could be improved. And if you click on each section, it tells you how to improve those little things about your site. Now, the thing is, is like I've mentioned throughout this video, just because all of these pieces are green 
doesn't mean that you're going to be number one, but you do want to try to make them all as green as possible. This is just a guide. And like most of these plugins, this, these are just guides to helping you increase your exposure and visibility to the site. So I would encourage you to get familiar with these three plugins, starting with the first recommendation and working your way down. They will, it doesn't matter which one you use. If you're not using one and you install one and you start to do the things that they recommend or that you should do, you will see some better on-page optimization. Again, I'm going to include a link below this video to the SEO Academy. If you want more information on how to do on-page SEO step-by-step, -step, check that link out. I've got the link for the outsourcing below and then the link to every single plugin below this video. So check all of that. There's a lot of information. I know I covered a lot. It's all really good stuff. Again, this is from you know a real world SEO, somebody who's got a ton of clients that is actually doing this. And um, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you wanna learn more on how I'm doing my strategies, how I'm working with clients, how I'm ranking websites to make more money, please leave a comment below this video and let me know because the more comments I get, like I've mentioned, will really help me to push for another video. And I've got some, some great topics, some great things, and I've really just scratched the surface, right? This is on-page SEO. I haven't broken it down too much. There's a lot of off-page SEO that you can do and a lot of ninja tricks that I'd love to share with you. So if you want, leave that comment below the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Aloha.